Hey guys, I'm Sub Channel here today and we're going to be showing you how to calibrate your E-Steps. Anyway, Pronterface is a program that we will be using to actually monitor the entire process. Now down here in the down right corner, you will see a little command area to put your commands into. Now first command that you want to put here is M83. I've already sent that and it will say up here sending M83. And after that, you will want to send M five zero three now this here will actually give you the current e-step value of your of your printer in my case down here i can show you guys zoom in or something m92 is what you're trying to look for the one that says m92 and then down here e is your e-steps currently this one right here is set to 405 anyway i do use an e-step calculator because i'm lazy from the 3D Studio, and here we will put our E-Steps. Moving on to the 3D printer, we do have to do a little bit of measuring, so you will need yourself a caliper, ideally, because you want this to be as precise as possible. And we want to measure out 100 millimeters. Now I've already had a scratch mark down here that I can actually follow, so I'm good to go. Here in Pronterface, we have to make sure that everything is set up properly, such as your preheat temperature, which should be set to whatever appropriate filament that you're using. In my case, I'm using PETG. Anyway, over here on the left side, we have the length specified to extrude. So we are going to be putting that to 100. I've already put that to 100. And our speed should be 100 millimeters a minute as well. So once you are done with that, press extrude. Now, as you can not see much, there is a little bit of filament that is still out from that scratch mark. So we will be measuring that. And we have 4.5 millimeters. Since we have 4.5 millimeters left, what we're gonna do is of course, put whatever was, whatever was extruded here. And that equals about 95.5. And now we actually have our new E-step value that we should use. And the great thing about this calculator is it also gives us the command to change our E-steps. Now heading back into Pronterface, over here again, we will we will take a look. Our E-steps previously were 405, but now we have a calibrated E-step of 424.08. So using that command, we are going to paste it in, send it. And just to find out if that thing worked, we are going to go here, M503. And as you can tell right there, people, M92, E42408. So it works.